Okay, welcome everybody to Coffee and Art in the Morning, and it's hump day. It's hump day. Mike, 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 Mike. Okay, so. <laughs> Somebody, we, we're, we've been laughing for 30 minutes in chat. Just saying. So I've been telling some of my old stories here. I, I'm not a great story. You know, if you want great, well, I'm just not a great storyteller. But I can tell a few, and mostly they're on myself. <laughs> but anyway, so the girls wanted to hear a sh the shoulder pad story again, and they wanted a diagram. So I found me a piece of paper. So here's the story. Back in the probably early 90s, some I think around there, back when dresses... Like the, your dresses were like a, a style it was a shirt weight shirt waist dress, and they were long and flowy, and you know they came down to your shin. So here's my little leg, <laughs> and shoulder pads were the rage. So you just like look like you had these little bitty arms, because you know you had these huge shoulder pads. So this is what you look like in one of those dresses. <laughs> This is what you looked like in one of the dresses in the late 80s, early 90s, when you went to a wedding. <laughs> so I went to a friend's wedding and uh, her daughter for her daughter, and um, <laughs> and it was and and you no, know, just saying it was a Catholic wedding, so there was a lot of standing up and sitting down and standing up and sitting down. Well, the whole day I kept feeling something on my on my shin down here. I kept feeling something. I just kept, and this was a big flowy dress, right? And I kept feeling something. I just kept brushing it. And, then, you know, that's a long way. That's a long way down there. <laughs> and I just kept feeling something on my shin. Itchy, 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 itchy. It was like, oh, what is on my, my shin the whole day? So finally, after the wedding, we were walking down, you know, it was a big church and lots of stairs. I was walking down the stairs. Like, here's, here's the visual. <laughs> I was walking down the stairs, and finally, I reached down to feel what it was on my leg. Well, I reached down and pulled off the hem, and it was a Velcro sound as loud as you could go, and it went, Kush! it was one of my shoulder pads. One of my shoulder pads had dropped off, so I looked like this, I'm sure, the whole day. I looked like Marty Feldman in Young Frankenstein. One of the shoulder pads had dropped out and worked its way down to the hem of my skirt. <laughs> and I know everybody looked at me like, what was that sound she just made? What was that sound she just made? <laughs> so then I, I have in my hand this big pad, right? And everybody's looking at me. And I have this big pad in my hand. And what are you going to go? It's a shoulder pad. What are you going to say? You know, was, what, <laughs> what do you tell people? It's my shoulder pad, you know. <laughs> so there's my little story. <laughs> I know, guys, right? But hey, it's one of those things, you know. Hi, hi. <laughs> okay, let's get on with our collage. So yesterday we pre we prepped some pages. And I have a whole bunch more collage stuff here that I just cut out. Some birds, flowers, watches, and clocks. Here's some more left over from yesterday. And in the back of the book here, I got a whole bunch left over from yesterday as well. I don't think I'm going to need any of this today because I've already I've already pre um, I've already pre um, pre stuck. They're not glued down. Uh, a lot of pages already. So let me just move that out of the way. <laughs> Every woman, oh yeah, well you know, you, you haven't really sympathized with the woman until you've had your pa your dress tucked up in your pantyhose while you're d getting gas in your car, and walk to the store and walk back and nobody tells you. <laughs> then you can sympathize. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. We look like rugby players, right, Lindsay Whimsy? I know that was a style. The things we do for style, right? These days, everybody just gets pierced all over the place. <laughs> Done that, too. Oh, my goodness. Yes, that's true, Julie Tobes. Anyone that lived through the 80s has a fashion horror story to tell. Okay, so yesterday we glued down a bunch. And by the way, this is um, Forgotten Heritage. It's a compilation of vintage photographs. And uh, Eileen the Enabler L sent it to me because she wants to enable me. 
to do even more. I did do flips through the abandoned places, this one and another one of my uh, altered, uh, I mean my mixed media collage journals. I did a little bit of a flip through that yesterday. And so it was an impromptu stream. So if you're here and you didn't get to watch it, it's on YouTube now. Uh, why don't they tell you? Yeah. So it's all kinds of, you know, abandoned vintage places and things. So I've already glued down throughout the book yesterday some uh, preliminary collage things. Um, I'm not sure what page. I did not plan what page we're going to do. But let me see if I can just find a few here where we stuck some. Oh, here's actually. Oh, yeah. This one is the one I was thinking about doing. But I think I'm going to do the arch one. And we've already started an arch one. Here's some more that this needs to go on this page eventually. But there's one that we started with an arch. There's a couple in here I actually like. We'll see how much time we have. Um, but I love these arches. And look at that. So cool. But we started one. Oh, and staircases. <gasps> Love me some staircases. Now, I didn't prep this one, though. I, I should stick with one of the ones. Uh, I should have stuck to one of the ones. I mean, I should stick to one of the ones I prepped already. So, because that's what we did yesterday. So, here's one that we selected some elements for. There's a few. I think we did probably about 15 or 20. You know, just pick some random collage items out to work on. Like, look at this one. Fractals. Oh, that's an awesome one. Uh, but there's one in particular. We did this one. Look at that. Look how that just goes with this. Oh my gosh. This page I didn't do anything to. Look at that. Some awesome things. This could be an awesome staircase. But there's one in my mind that I'm, I want to... This one's got this going on. Um, we put a few little uh, stone angels. I'm just flipping to show you the ones that we have something on. Um... This one, I really like this one. We might do this one. You can see where I put the uh, Mount Fuji there and some uh, little piece of waves here. I like that. But there's one arch one that we really got farther along with. Isn't this a cool book, guys? Look, windows, castles, doors. Um, did I? Oh, you must be talking to someone else, Lindsay. <clears throat> So yeah, we just started randomly gluing things down. We did this for about a minute. Just showing that you can take just a little bit like this at the top of a staircase. And look how we did the wind or the uh, wisp of spirit going through there. Um, I know it's an awesome book, right? I do like this one too. But I want the other one because it's a double page spread. When I get to it here. Let's see. We have this one going on. And all these pieces that you're seeing on collage, they're just tacked down with the uh, glue stick in the middle of the piece just to hold it in place. Because you've got to take it all off and prep the page, paint the page, and all that. So, got this one going here. This is, see, this is glued or stuck down. <clears throat> Watch there. If you have any ca uh, questions, put in caps. If you're watching this recording on YouTube. It's a live show with a live chat, although I do plan, I told the girls yesterday, I do plan on doing some non-broadcast recordings. They'll be, I'll tell you, they'll be more quiet. They'll be quieter because I won't be chatting with people. I'll be chatting. Trust me, I'll be talking. <laughs> but it won't be as much because I'm interacting with people here. Okay, so I love this one too. Look at this one, guys. Look how these bits of collage... Just look how that matched up. You just can't, you can't make that stuff up. Well, you can. <laughs> okay, this is the one I want to work on, I think. But let's see here. Yeah, this one. We started this one yesterday. And we just put a little paint on there just to show how, what the direction we'd like to go. So I do like this one, but I like that other bridge one too. So let's see. There's this one. This one's already done. This is the only pe uh, finished page in the book. And I haven't even varnished it yet. If y'all will remind me, I will varnish a page to show you how I varnish it. I just always forget to show the, you know, varnishing. Not that there's anything to it, really, you know. I like this one as well. Maybe we'll do this one first. Let me put a, let me put a post-it note on this back one here. Oh, great. Look. 
Let's put a post-it note on that page. <laughs> Let's just do that. Let's put a post-it note on that page. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, thanks Terry's going. Dee Dee Varsh that page. <laughs> okay, so I think we'll do this one. Hey Kenny. Hi uh, Kim and Dragonell. Anybody else I missed? Azure. <laughs> okay, so yeah, there's so many great pages in here. I love this book. I love my abandoned places. The two of them. They just have different kinds of things. But they're both so awesome. <laughs> All right. So I think what I'm going to do. And again, I just stuck them down just with a little bit of glue stick. Right. So the first thing I'm going to do is get some wax papered so that I don't glue the pages together. <laughs> Post it, me. Yeah. Uh, let's see. You don't want to glue your pages together with matte medium. Okay, so I'm going to just pick these up. Okay. Put that over here. Put that over there. And this doesn't matter because I'm covering that up. Okay, so let's see if I can remember all of the things I want to tell you. I, I repeat everything that I do every time I do it because I want everyone to know the same process. But I'm going to take, I use golden, I use golden matte medium. And it's just called matte medium. It's not gel. It's just matte medium. And it's matte. In other words, it's not shiny. So I just take a tray here and I'm going to, I, I keep it in, in a dish soap bottle. Pour it in here. Then you can just open up the lid and squeeze out as much as you want. Okay. Now I'm going to need quite a bit at first because I'm, on a, I'm going to start by covering the whole page with matte medium and knocking off the shine. Uh, yes, I am recording. <laughs> Thanks, Terry. Let me get a glue brush. So I'm going to get a... This one might be too big for later on. But my glue brushes are the only brushes... Look at that. The glue brushes are the only brushes I keep in water. So they're ready to go. They're, that keeps them soft. They're just like old crusty brushes. But um, yeah, so what I'm going to do, i got to knock off some of the water though. I've got too much water in there. Uh, I'm just going to coat the whole page, both pages I should say, with the matte medium and then dry it. This will knock back the shine. You do not have to do this step pre uh pre-glue and pre-paint but it it makes the whole page more consistent in these shiny books i don't do this stay this step when i'm just working on a blank page in a journal i'm not i don't do this because i'm not i don't need to knock back a shine um on a journal page when i start a collage process with just um, a blank page i don't do this but because it's so shiny I'm just going to go ahead and just knock the shine off. Okay. Now I'm going to take my heat gun and dry it. Check chat for a minute. Thanks everybody for being here. We always have so much fun and I think you guys do too. pretty quick because it's, it's a thin coat. Oh, uh, thanks Terry. Lots of fun. Oh, thanks guys. Well, you think like after six years we're partially family. <laughs> Some of us have been knowing each other. A lot of us have been knowing each other six years, five years.
It is going to have space in it, Samurai. And yes, I know that's not her name. That's what I like to call her. She's a, 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 a artist, a samurai artist. <laughs> okay, just making sure I didn't stick my pages down there. Because if, and if you do, you can just kind of like snap them apart like that if you glue glue them together. I'm gonna need my baby wipes, and I just use Huggies or Huggy brand natural. They're called natural. Okay, and they're Huggy brand. So. I just found that they're the best, but, you know, use what you got. Use what you, somebody asked me if uh, they could use a damp rag. Um, I don't know. The, one of the things about the, uh, about the um, baby wipes is they're completely consistent, and the, whatever they use to uh, moisten them, they stay, you know, I don't know. I don't know if a, if a thin rag would work. It probably, it's better than nothing to make, you know, um, mist and fog and stuff like that all right so now i have to decide i think i'm going to go ahead because i've only got these three elements right now i'm going to go ahead now i'm going because i'm going to paint and stuff too but i'm going to go ahead and glue down these little bit of elements that i've decided yesterday and i put the matte medium on the base i put it on the back of the piece and then I put it over the top. We cut this in half yesterday because it's hard to, it's even hard to glue in the ditch. But it's, it's, if you keep, if you carry over a piece of collage element, like right over the crack of the book, then it's going to start building up in there and breaking down your spine. It's better just to put a little bit of space between it. Then I take a card and just kind of mash it down like this. It's best to leave a space and fill that in with paint, if, if at all possible, if it's not too complicated to do that. And then that will dry perfectly flat. Okay, so now I'm going to come over here. Let me see, do I have this on top? I had that like that, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to put this down. Hopefully you all can see where we're going with it. If you have questions, put them in caps, guys, because the chat scrolls by real quick. Hey, Colleen, Bunny, Juju, who else? Carrie Ann said hi to you. Muse. Thanks, guys, for popping in. Just going to work on some altered <clears throat> mixed media collage in our Forgotten Heritage book. Okay, so let's scrape that down. And then I got a lot of excess here in the spine. I'll probably get a baby wipe in there because I don't want to. If you get a, <clears throat> anything left in there, you got to make sure that you don't glue your book shut. Well, you always want to make sure it's perfectly dry before you um, uh, close it anyway. All right, let's fix my light here. Got a little flashed out. Now I made it worse. Let's see what we can do about that. I want it bright, but not too. There we go. That's better. It's a little flashed out. It's a little darker than it looks on camera, but I want y'all to be able to see. If it gets too dark, you can't see what I'm doing. So I'd rather have it a little on the light side. And even though it's a little flashed out. All right. So I'm trying to get, because it, because the book is like this, I'm, my papers are like that. <laughs> So I just want to make sure it's really, you know, down. Okay. So. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Uh, I could pick there's a glare over there. Let me put prop something under that. Here, let me get a couple of, of my paint trays and kind of prop the book up a little. There we go. Keep the glare off a little. All right, now I have to decide what else I want because I know I want these to look like planets or ships. Okay, that was the plan yesterday. <laughs> and you see how they have borders? This all gets painted out. This all gets painted out on the sides there. Or if there's any text, you paint that out too. All right, so let's see. Let me come over here to some of my, um, like this is what, we don't need a big element like this because we have these big elements here. So this one we'll put aside. 
and I want to at least start with some of the watches because I know I want at least one of these to have watch hands. Maybe this one, maybe right in the center. Now I might have got them all too big. <clears throat> that one's pretty good. Let me trim it down. <clears throat> so we're just going to make a world here. And it's just whatever you want your world to be. You don't have to, you know, if it doesn't look like somebody else's world, that's, you really don't want it to look like somebody else's world because it's not their world, it's your world. <laughs> and I think I want the watch hands to go. Although I, I'll just paint them out if I don't like them. Hang on, guys, I froze for just a second with incoming mail. Because that'll be a dramatic effect. I'm not sure I like the gold. I think I'm going to cut the gold way, way down. Maybe just a smidge of gold. So I really don't want that gold on the edge. I'm just cutting right here, guys. And again, I don't know why I got the big mama jamba scissors for these little bitty fussy cutting. But it just you just roll it around. If you have any questions, put them in caps. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Just trimming real tight to the edge. <clears throat> and I want the hands, I think, to go this way and this way. All right, now do I want another one or do I just want to make some planets? Because this is going to get painted out. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm rolling with it. I'm not going to... I'm not going to think about it too much. I just want to... Alright, let's see what else we have. Because we have the flowers and everything down here, and I'm going to have to continue off this off to the side. I don't know if I cut out anything blue flowers. Maybe we'll have a put a bird on it. Oh, now these flowers. No, too, too bright. That bird's a good color. This one's a good color. I'm just looking. I like him the best, but he's looking off the page. If I put him over there, I want to. If I put a bird on it, I want him looking into the page. But not sure I want a bird. So I'll just keep rolling here. I like this. Oh wait, here's some purpley looking flowers. No. All right. So I'm thinking down here, this wave. All right, let's see here. Let's see. Shh, shh, shh. This is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, thinking. Got to get in the, get in the old noggin. <laughs> I'm liking that because I like this. I'm going to roll with it. I'm just going to roll with it. I'm going to have to have one more tiny one somewhere. I don't have to, but I want to. Let me squeeze out a little bit more matte medium. Don't need much. I'm not going to use that bird. I need a little bit more to get out of there. If you have any questions, just ask, guys. I'm just kind of, I try to watch chat. But if you want to ask me something or talk about something I'm doing, just put it in caps. Hey, Cass. Um, I did watch a little bit of Cass's show last night. I, I didn't have something to, I've already watched, caught up on Jean. So I fell asleep to Cass. <laughs> I literally fell asleep to Cass. No offense to Cass, trust me. I just, I put something on to fall asleep to, and last night it was Cass. So, um, I did not see the very end of your show. It's going to be like, uh, uh-oh, oh, that's that. Uh, it's going to be like when I watch Jean and fall asleep four nights in a, in a row. <laughs> and, and it takes that many times to watch you. <laughs> okay, so now I do have some cool, I'm not sure how I want, I love this, these fractal bits. And the colors are working. So, I'm just thinking here how I want bits of fractal bits of it in here because I don't need all of these I mean I can make some of them smaller too maybe it needs to be this. no 
I just got to play around with it a little bit, guys, because I'm thinking it needs to be over here. But this one has such a straight line on it. I'm not loving that. I'm not loving the straight line. It almost has to... See, it looks like a building. If I go this way, it could be a uh, cool building on a planet. But, you know, I've already got this going on. I don't know. All right, let's look at this other bit. I'm liking this. Maybe this could be a planet right there. We can roll that into a planet. But I, see, it's got to be done, done, done. It needs to be over here if I use it. It needs to be on this side. It needs to be like right in there. There we go. That's where it needs to go. So if it goes right here, that means it's in the ditch. So it means i got to cut it in half. So I'm going to go ahead and make a dent where I need to space it between the book. Alright, let's glue this little baby down and then we'll start painting. Okay, it's got a little bit of a rolled edge on there. Let me cut that off. Got a tiny bit of an edge. Don't want to fight trying to glue that down. So I'm going to get as close as I can to the center of the book. just kind of mash it because it's going to be right in the, I don't want to glue my books pages together. And turn the top just a little, hanging off the edge. Okay, whoop, come back, come back. There. Right, get my little. When you work on a double page spread, you gotta think about those things. <laughs> And I'll paint them in. I'll paint it in. But you don't want it if you, like, again, if you try to just uh, go straight across and glue, the opening and the closing of the book is going to make that paper eventually crack and tear. And you'll end up painting it out anyway. All right, so I think that's all I'm going to put on here. Let me move this other excess collage bits out of the way. I don't know. I'm still what, thinking about, well, no, I'll, I'll wait on the bird. I'll wait on the bird. Let's see what else. I think this will be cool. I mean, it'll be just a scene. It won't be, um, you know, it'll be like a landscape. All right, so let me go ahead and put my glue brush back in the water. Get rid of some of this new baby wipe. All right, I think I'm done with the matte medium. All right. I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I saw somebody stream. Is uh, Joycey streaming? Did I see you say Joycey streaming at one, Eileen? I missed it. I missed it. Sorry, guys. I, I stepped away to get baby wipes and missed the next streamer. Alright, All right, I just want to make sure I'm not gluing my pages to the, uh, what do you call it, either. And I got a little bit of crooked camera here. Okay. Oh, okay. Thanks, Eileen. Alright, so there we go. I think that's dry. Let me hit it with the heat gun just to make sure.
Okay. <laughs> One second. Something over here in chat. One moment, please. My chat's rolling here. Okay. Alrighty. Making sure nothing's stuck, you know, because it's easily stuck here. How y'all liking it so far? Now I gotta get out some paint. Wait for chat. Am I still here, guys? I messed with my chat, so I'm not sure. Checking chat. Sip a coffee. Okay, just making sure because I messed with my chat. Okay. And sometimes you can shut your own chat off. <laughs> okay, so now I want, I'm going to want black and white. And I do need to get more black and white paint. I am running low. I am running low. Oh my gosh. Hang on, guys. I got incoming mail in that mess with my chat, too. There it goes. Okay, now we're rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. So I'm going to get rid of the edges first. See, like all this white paper here? This here? And I usually just use my fingers to start that. I'm trying to keep this side propped up because it's lower than the book on the other side. And I am kind of, you know, I'm not really zoomed in, but it's close. The camera's close. All right, so I'm going to just take, and I'm going to go over here so you can see. I'm going to first just start by getting rid of the white paper. Now, remember, because it's covered, because it's covered with matte medium, I can take a baby wipe and wipe away any place that I don't want paint. But right now, I just want to kind of get rid of the white edges and start blending in. And you got to get it, you know, I mean, once the paint's dry, of course, you're not going to be able to wipe it. <laughs> you know, you got to get it while it's the getting's good. So I'm just going to kind of make sure that's round here. Whoops, too far. And I might get in there with a the brush to make it nice and crisp, too. We'll see here. Like that. And you go through a lot of baby wipes. Because once the baby wipe is full of um, paint, you can't wipe it away anymore. Then you're just smearing paint again. That's why you can go through 20 baby wipes in just one page. You go through a lot because you're constantly cleaning and smearing and whatnot. Okay. that like that and I'm going to carry some of this around over over the top of this one 
and same for here. This stuff is going to get painted in and blended in. Hey, Mel G. Okay, need more baby wipes. I think I want to make that a little darker right on the top. Make this go. So I'm just putting it with my finger because I can. But you know, you don't you don't have to use your finger, you can use a brush. This yellow is going to kind of carry over there, so I want to keep that. Right now I'm just getting rid of the background and kind of starting the blend. What product are y'all talking about now? Eileen, are you enabling again? <laughs> What are you enabling with, Eileen? And see, there's a little like, it looks like little, you know, stairs here from the, uh, these are like the tops of, like, oil or, you know, containers. So you got a little stair there. I like that. I don't want to lose that. This one I need to blend in just a little. Again, I'm going to paint over it. Eileen should come with an elf. She does come with an elf warning. <laughs> oh, what product are y'all talking about? <laughs> Is Eileen enabling? Who's enabling? <laughs> okay. Well, uh oh, got that in the paint. Let's get rid of that one now. Let's get another baby wipe. I dropped it in the paint. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> what are y'all enabling? What products now? All right, I got too many things under here. Hang on, there we go. <clears throat> this one's going to go with blue and white, so I'm going to carry that over with blue. But I just want to get all the white done here. And I'm just moving my wax paper around to keep it from sticking, the pages from sticking together. Now I'm going to go along here on the bottom. So you're just kind of blending it out. And you can kind of feather it in. And it doesn't have to be black. It can be any color. This is just my starter. <clears throat> starting color. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I think I know what y'all are talking about. That um, pencil powder. Is that what you're talking about? That pencil powder? Okay, so there we go. I can probably now move my wax paper because I've got all the edges done. Um, if I do go off the edge anywhere, I'll just need to be aware. More baby wipes uh, so that I don't stick my pages together. there we go for a start. Let me dry this just so I'm not running my arm through the black paint. Here's the cover. Um, well, let me dry it first and I'll show you the cover, Mel G. Ask Eileen. She's the one that got it. <laughs> I'll show the cover in just a second.
this goes. Okay, I got one little edge right here that needs glued down. I'll just uh, take a I mean, it's tacky. You know, if you miss a little edge or something, I'll just glue it down. All right. All right. Let's see. So now I've got to pick some other colors here that I want. Let me get a couple more. Get another tray. here. This is all dried paint. So... It's kind of cool. <laughs> I don't ever use it, the little acrylic paint skins, but they peel right off of the uh, black. Okay, so here we go. Did you find it? Forgotten Heritage. And the other one that I use is the... Um, Abandoned places. Okay. All right. Now, a sip of coffee. I need to go make me some hot coffee. Let me see. Looking around. Colors I need. Let me move these pencils. All right. I want some bright turquoise color. I want the bluegrass green, probably. I think I'll do a couple of blues. So I'm going to put out some bluegrass green. And these are all just Americana craft paints. Again, if you all want to see what I use in collage and in color books, I have a... Uh, general supplies that I use, art supplies that I use into um, in collage and color books. No, I'm not, I'm not going to do that TNT. Alright, so there. Let's see. Let's see what other colors. I'm going to want like a kind of a brighter yellow. Well, I'm going to want a couple of orange, like a, this orange here, which is orange, orange twist, but any brighter orange. So I want a brighter orange here. So that's that. Then I'm going to use, and I keep getting paint on me, so I keep cleaning myself off here. Thanks. Thanks, Mel G. Let's see. Then I'm going to want a, a blue, because I do have a little bit of blue here. What color blue do I want? Do I want a bright blue, like a pretty bright blue? Hmm and some green. I'm going to have a few colors. I don't know that I'm going to use this yet, but I'm going to put it out there because I do have it in the watch and the clouds, but it's I'm going to try to really make it the tealier color of the two blues that are in there. Um, let's see. Yeah, I prepped the book yesterday in, in the sense that I picked out a bunch of collage stuff and glued or tacked it down. Tacked it down. All right, then I'm going to need some sienna of some kind. Here's burnt orange. Of course, I'm going to need white. Did I put? Yeah, here it is. I'll put my white on another tray. Let me get another one. enough colors for now. No, I think I might, well, I don't know if I need a, might need a gray. Let's get a light gray. Let's make sure to go with this blue and some of the gray. I want it to be not just my, all my normal colors. I try to add some different ones every now and then. So I think we've done that.
just looking at it now, I think I'll start up here. I might need a brighter yellow, too. I'll probably put the orange on first and then the brighter yellow. Or I could, yeah, let's see. What yellow do I want? That one's too limey color. I don't want a lime color. That's too ochre. I could almost use buy a new yellow. Oh, wait, here's some down here. There we go. <clears throat> put on a little pineapple. Still with the chat, guys. Let me put a test in there just to make sure. Okay. So I think I'm going to start with the orange here. And this process is very just... I will need a brush to get in the crack. My finger won't fit down in there. This process is very... Just... It's not a plan. You can't plan this. <laughs> Just saying, you can't plan this out exactly. Okay, thanks, Terry. All right, so I think I'll come right up to the edge of this here. This will be behind it. And I'll get in here with some color pencils and other things later, too. I'll have to probably put... This This particular color is a little translucent, so I might have to put a couple coats as it dries. And then I just smear with the baby wipe. Thanks, guys. Thanks for being here. All right, I want this to kind of, because it's going to have like rings of Saturn around it. These are here. But I got to get this all blended in first. Might as well start with the trickiest part, which is getting in the cracks. Okay, let's see how far I want to take. Have a little bit of the orange, a little bit of the teal. I'm just trying to kind of make it go across the page here. Hey Angie Bell, how you doing? Anybody else popping in? Thanks for being here. Hope everybody's having a good hump day. It's going to be in a certain shape right here. Then these rings are going to come around this way. And around this way. Kind of smear that in because I want those rings to be fady in there. Same thing for right in here. And then I'll have a break in them and then they'll continue on. And here's an example why I say that it's best if you tear your collage rather than cut it. See this right here? I don't know if I can show it to you. See that? See that cut edge right there? That's mm. much harder to blend than a torn edge. A torn edge, you could just paint that right in. But because of that cut edge, it's trickier. There's like, that's why I tell you to 
use a cut edge, I mean a torn edge rather than a cut edge if you can. Sometimes you can't, you know, depending on what you're doing. Okay, I'm just going to keep painting away. And this is also subjective. It's not something that, you know, I can say, oh, do this here, that here, you know. Again, you got to work in those little crevices. <clears throat> Add some blue. isn't that interesting to you guys. <clears throat> I think the color went did go flat though. Let's see if I can get the hang on guys let me fix the light again. There we go. Yeah, Terry printed off the dragon in a uh, in the craft paper. If y'all missed it, I mean it's on YouTube now. I don't know what I put it. Where did I put that baby? Let's see. No, nope, that's not it. So you can print off. Well, any color book page, really, but the dragon just worked out well. So this is kind of what it looks like. It's a different dragon, but this is kind of what it looks like when you just print it off on craft paper. And then this is when we just use black and white pencil and a white Posca. Now, the smoke here is a little bit of white paint. But other than that, it's all black and white Prisma pencil. Am I recording again tomorrow? Um, I'm not planning out those. My If I record, it's just going to depend on what I have to do that day. So I can't really say. But, uh, yeah. So that's all with black and white Prismacolor. And there is a video on it. Thanks, Melody. Okay, where's my... Oh, here's my black paint. I'm trying to keep them all right next to me. My paint's all right here. But I keep kind of flashing out. I don't know why. I'm not sure why, guys. There we go. Well, sort of. Let's see. Aw, thanks, Vicki. All right, let's come over. No, I still want to work up here a little bit more because I'm having fun. <laughs> I'm having fun right here. Keeps wanting to go light on me, though, for some reason. Keeps wanting to flash out. I don't know why. We never know why.
again you got to kind of go over the No, no, I have not planned that far ahead. Jen. All right, let's see. I want to get in here with the... Right in the crevice there a little bit. I mean, you're still going to be able to see it. You're still going to be see the, still see the crack there, right? But I'm trying to make it as non-descript as I can. Clean my brush. Oh, I don't think I saw it yet, Melody. I don't know. Did you post it? I'm not sure. Or is it? Are you? Is are you talking about on Bennett Klein's page? That's too much right there. That's too. Just that bit coming around here. Because I'm going to draw in these uh, rings. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to. It's actually painted in there. <laughs> but you can't really tell it's painted in there. I just have to leave it as. It's, it's the book. You know, it's a. It's a double page spread going across two pages, so that's what happens. Um, I can't believe it. Yes. Um, are you you are you in his group? Um, Mel, Mel G, are you in his Facebook group? That's where you need to be. If you're not, I don't know if you are or not. Again, I want this to be behind. I'm just taking my time, guys. Because I did all that prep yesterday, this is the fun part for me. This is the part I enjoy the most, is the painting. And then I want this to come down around behind here. And this one kind of flows kind of up like that. Name the galaxy. Go ahead, name the galaxy. <laughs> It's hard to see. There's little stairs right here, too. And over here, too. There's little stair cases. Let's see. It's a little lighter on the edge there. Thanks, guys. I'm glad y'all like it. All right, there's a few things like right here, this little line here. It's either going to have to be blended or it's going to have to go. So let's try to blend it first. If I don't like it, then we'll paint it out. All right, so let's see here. Again, I have to work into the crevice.
how did I get started doing? Because I, I like collage, and I just kept playing more and more. I just, you know, you just play more and more with it. You get better and better at it. Yeah, I guess I could. It's actually, if you look at it, if I flatten out the book, it is actually painted in there. But it just, the shadow of the crack, the shadow of it is making it um, look worse than it is. You know? Like the shine of the paint and the, it's painted in there. I just can't flatten the book out to show you any better than that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm really, to tell you the truth, guys, I don't care. I mean, it's, you know, it's got a line in it. It is what it is. It's a book. <laughs> so, yeah. It's painted. You just can't see it because of the shadow. If I bent the book all the way back, you'd see it's blue. Yeah. All right. So, let's see. Where am I going to go over here? Sorry, guys. If that cracks, if the crack's bugging you. <laughs> Alrighty, so now I want to work on this here, this mountain here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it out. I'm going to add a couple of shades of the teal and the blue. I just have to, and then I'm going to paint my own clouds in here, see? But I'm not sure how far I want the mountain to come across. I think I might just want it to come all the way across like this. And see, this is where I'm going off the edge. You want to just kind of make sure you're not going to glue your pages together. All right. I might have some water flowing down here, too. We'll see. Because this has looks like little waves right there. This almost looks like, um, right here, looks like uh, molten lava. Now, I do want to uh, fix this right here and just paint it over because there was a spot. But let me get my, I'm going to get my, uh, what do you call it, color? Sienna, my burnt orange color. And start kind of blending that in. And the more you do stuff like this, guys, the more you, you practice your color blending, color um, making your own colors, you start to see the colors. You, that takes practice. See, I blended that color in there. That, you can't just usually just do that, like, first try. You know, you, maybe you can. Thanks, Kenny. Um, all right, so now I'm going to get in here with my orange and my sienna, and I'll, I should really get a smaller brush here, but I'm just going to go ahead and try to, And some some are color, some paint colors are more translucent than others, so you might have to put two coats. Let's see how I want to make this go. I'm going to go this way, this way, this way, and this way. All right, now let's go in here. Back in the crack. I'm going to make this my own little edge. I think I'll carry it down a little here because this is where the clouds are going to start. Coming off of this little hill here. Now I got that's not that's still wet, so I got to be careful here. I can blend it a little and then I'll have to put another coat of white there. The crack is whack. <laughs> uh, 
for you guys. <laughs> Yeah, we're cracking, we're crackle lacking, and we're cracking up. Thanks, Angie Bell. All right, got a little bit of green over here. Let's see here. Mix a little more of that blue and that green color here. Because it's going to have clouds again, so... Y'all notice I'm using the same um, ang flat flat brush. It's, it has a little bit of angle to it. I think that's just because it's worn down. Just kind of trying to watch a little bit of chat, guys, while I'm doing this. See that? See how I, the black's still showing through? That's going to ne need a second coat. If I want any of those real bright whites there, which I will want some. Can get a little misty and stuff, but I want some of the. I want some brights.
starting to come together. Yep, yep. These little details are, this is what takes the longest for me. It's not the picking the stuff or the gluing it down or painting out a background. This is the stuff that takes the longest for me. Because I, I enjoy the process so much. I take my time and fiddle and play, you know. So that's why it takes, it takes me a while. I think I'm going to stop and splash some stars because I'm not sure. I think I want this probably to come across here in the orange. So, let's see. Okay, let's see about the orange here. Just gonna leave that for now because I'm not sure which direction I want that to go yet. I don't want it behind there. Then this one comes down here. Okay, let that set up for a minute so I can put another layer on top. If you put wet paint on wet paint, it'll blend. Which, you know, a lot of times you want to do that. But... behind me. I don't want to wait on this. All right, let me go ahead and do some stars. So what I'm going to do is get me a, another tray. <clears throat> Let's 
some white paint in it because I'm going to water this one this one down. Water it down. Get a fluffy brush. Let's see. I should set aside my fluffy brush, but I never do. Something that's just kind of floppy. This is like ink consistency now. Okay, and you want to kind of test the splatters on the on your, not on your page, and I don't want to get this on my computer. So, all right. Let's see. Kind of move it a little closer to me. Move it on me. I don't care if it gets on me. And if it gets on anything I don't want it, while they're still wet, while it's still wet, I can wipe it away. I got a blob one right there. So let me just wipe that away. And the more you tap, the lo the smaller the little dots get. All right, so now what I want to do is wipe away where I don't want it. I don't want it on top of this here. And I do need to kind of blend that in somehow. Let's get a little, maybe a little orange there. Because I'm going to put pencil too. Yeah, that gives it a good, there we go. Now we're talking. Okay, let's blend it out. And same thing here, if I've got any where I don't want it, just going to wipe it away here, here, here. All right, let me do that. Um, orange here too. Still with us, guys? Oh, oh. Okay, let's get that sienna color here. And I think I want a blue gray. Let me get a gray going here. Maybe a little of that sienna in it. So I want to make that little door in there. Get a small brush. I know I'm moving around a lot, guys, but I got to get up on it sometimes. Hey, Carolyn. A. somebody a while back and they have it oh yes hang on let me see if they're still here hang on guys let me do take care of this real quick because I got in the I got in the zone If I leave the message, <laughs> if I leave the message, then they're not going to see me again. Oh my gosh. All right. I'll just leave it there for a second. Not, I can't see the general chat for just a minute, guys. I'm trying to see this.
I'm painting a little stairway and a little door. <laughs> testing, testing the message. No, maybe they left. No, I don't think they did. I was probably not looking. All right, I'll wait a minute. Go back to main chat here, let's see. This has to look just right or it won't look right. Will there be essence of people? <laughs> mm, probably not. <laughs> Sometimes we put essence of people. Right? Right, Terry? Oh my gosh. Okay. The person in PM. Please see your PM. Testing. Testing. <laughs> yes, on the stairs. Yeah, I knew what you meant. That's where I would have put essence of people. But I'll tell you, these essence of people would be very, very small essences of people because this is supposed to be ginormous. Now I need to add a little bit of the gray here. Hang on. I want it to be kind of faded out. I don't want you to see too much detail here. Looks amazing. Thanks, guys. It's not squared up like I want it though. I need that needs some more gray in there. Let me gray that up just a little. So I don't want it to be very detailed. I want it to be kind of fade. There we go. That's better. Faded back. <clears throat> that makes sense. Faded back. Okay, now let's come back over here. Get my other brush. All right, back to work. Still gonna do the watch hands. All this. What is the splash of black? Oh, that's where my arm got in it. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for pointing that out. That's where my arm got in it. <laughs> that's what happens when you're watching chat, guys, and, and trying to work. There we go. We fixed it. <laughs> the splash the splash of black was where my arm got in it. Let me roll up my sleeve. See, look, this is where this is where it happened. <laughs> Fresh baby wipe. <laughs> Hi, Marilyn. You can't look away, people. You can't look away. <laughs> That's what happens when you do. What? <laughs> hey, Fran. 
essence of Dee Dee, yes, in that picture. This is why you wear paint clothes. <clears throat> All right, now let's. I think I'm going to hit it with the heat gun, so I'm not doing that again. Let me dry it real quick, and we'll continue. <laughs> Get all my little stars dry and everything. All right, now I want a little more foggy on this side. Another baby white. And then I'll splash some of this up. Okay, because I just want an edge here that kind of carries over. I'm going to put some orange in this one. I think I might do some water here. <clears throat> okay, I'm getting it with my brush now. Thanks. Thanks, Diane. Okay, let's see how much more time I have. I want to do my, get my watch hands and stuff in here. Get some orange in there. Thanks, Helene. Thanks, guys. Sometimes I think this tedious, it's tedious. This is a tedious part for you guys to watch, but it's the fun part for me. <laughs> so it's kind of like, you know, how far along do I keep going with this? Because I know it can get, you know, y'all can't see a lot of detail, and I'm sure it's not the funnest part to watch, like slapping down collage bits, right? And I'm going to put some pencil in there too. Let that sit for a minute before I add any more white. All right, let's see how I can kind of Looking, looking, I'm just kind of looking over the whole thing. Again, it got a little flashed out, but not too bad. All right, I'm going to hit this with the heat gun and dry it. Then I can get in here with a little bit of pencil. Paint off my 
hand here. this little staircase over here that I'm going to put in some sienna because I want it to kind of show up too like the other one is. Very subtle, very subtle. Thanks, Mel. Do you like watching me bring the pages alive? All right, let's get my gray back over here again. Jessica. Hey, BG. I think I said hi to you, didn't I, Marilyn? the watch hands and then some color pencil all right let's see what I want to decide to do I think I want these just to come up to the maybe I won't even have those maybe I'll just do this one let me see here let me do a little gray work I'm going to work on that with pencil. All right, let me dry that real quick. So I'll drag my arm through it. All right, now let me do, let me get a ruler. Probably a Posca too. I'll start with a white pencil though. Let me sharpen one up. Hang on, guys.
Okay. Back to work. I want this to come over here. So this is going to come right across, right up to here. And I'm going to darken it and brighten it up with Posca or more paint. Oops, or more paint, and get rid of these little watch hands here. Just kind of adding a little bit more detail on this little watch here because this, this these big squares here or these little rectangles are so big I want to like get those smaller so they don't stand out so much say so like that Okay, that's good. Now let me check on this one. Okay. Bye, Tammy. I'm sure I miss some people coming and going. again. Where's my sharpener? I'm going to go over it with the Posca too because it'll be nice and bright. Uh-oh. Off base. <laughs> Where's my electric sharp re eraser? <laughs> we fixed it yesterday. Where is it? Where did I put it? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's over here. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Let's see if I can get some of this knocked back here. I made it. I want my ruler went cockeyed there. All right. So now I'm going to do it with the Posca. Let me get my Posca. And I really. I don't want to, this ruler, if you put a ruler down with a paint pan, you're going to risk getting it up underneath. So I'm just going to kind of tilt it here and draw my own. And then I'll put a little shadow under it too. I'm almost done, guys. We're almost done. Keeping this one under a couple hours. And then this one. Let me get my white pencil again. I don't know if I want to end it in the crack, but that's where I kind of had it going. To that light spot right there. And then i got to do a couple planets. I want to work on these rings a little bit. 
Okay, and then right past it. Let's see here. Let's go past the planet right off the page. There we go. Are you going to? Oh, that's right. I was going to show you. Um, I'll probably varnish the other one. I don't like to varnish these right away uh, because, you know, some paint may not be quite dry. But I have another one in here that I can varnish. The other one I did last week. Because y'all wanted to see. And it's really nothing to it, guys. Just throwing on some varnish, you know, but. All right, now let's get a bl black pencil. Looks pretty good. <clears throat> Hang on, guys. I messed with my chat. Let me test and make sure my... It's scrolling. Alrighty. Now let's get a white pencil. Sharpen again. Whoops, sorry. And an orange pencil. They're going to start laying the fiber on it, so you will be out of internet till later this afternoon. You're welcome, Eileen. Thanks for... Yeah, I got a doctor appointment. I have an eye doctor appointment, so I won't be here um, the rest of the afternoon either. Okay. Y'all have any questions or anything while I'm wrapping this up? I mean, for the most part. I mean, I can sit here and fussy with this all day long. I really could. Well, if you're getting fiber optics, optics though, that's going to be awesome, Eileen. That will be awesome. All right, now I'm going to get in here with, let me sharpen my white. I'll post a picture on Twitter after a while. All right, let's see here what we can do. Let's do a little bit of blending and a little bit of, a little bit of play down here. I need that point to come around. Where's my Posca? Let me just put that on there, the Posca. There we go. I need that to come around. I could have got my paint back out, but... I gotta kind of go back over there. I think I ran my arm over that little bit right there accidentally. I didn't hit it with the heat gun. 
What playlist? It'll go in the mixed media uh, playlist. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. Mary went so good about it. She goes, follow Dee Dee, and this will be in the mixed media playlist or whatever. <laughs> Oh, thanks so much, Marilyn, for all your support. So sweet. I'm just kind of popping in some highlights here. And Carrie, if you're watching this, we miss you. I know you're having fun with your little Bailey, man. That's her dog, guys. Just saying. Because <laughs> this is kind of behind that on there. Sorry, guys, I hold my breath and get in the groove down here on just these little details. All right? And I could be doing this with a, the brush. A paintbrush. All right, now I'm going to just kind of foggy mist this real gently with pencil and this may not barely be able to be seen but I'll kind of hold it up for you if you can't see this part thanks Orla thanks guys uh, because I prepped yesterday and picked out collage bits I mean, I still could have done it with an extra 15 minutes here. But now we're under two hours. You know, we're under two hours now. Just kind of misting it, you know, making a little bit of fog. I could put some more with, uh, I could put some more with the baby wipe too. But I'm just going to kind of play in here now, in some of the space areas, the outer space background. Can you kind of see that a little bit? I hope. Do another one. I can't today. I got an eye doctor appointment. I can't. So, but thanks for trying there, Vicki. <laughs> Good try. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to just kind of get in here with a few little extra oomps, see, like this. And maybe a few more um, of these, let me go with the orange, and a few more of the rings and things and it, it, it's probably not going to show up it's very subtle here just this little extra waves of color and stuff and again it's right there in the crack
Okay, let's put a couple little planets in here. Like um, over here, let's do a blue one. Let's do one right up in here. A little bit of orange in it. Let me get my black to kind of fix it a little. Went over a bump of collage there. Kind of made my planet a little wonky. Put a couple shooting stars. Do you, do you take do you take a piece before and after? No, I I don't. I don't take a before and after picture. I mean, I've done it a couple times, but mostly no. I gotta say, mostly no, guys. All right, let's do a little bit of. Give it its own little nebula. Alright, this needs a nice edge on it. I'll blend that in a little. Let's blend it in with some blue. guys. I appreciate it. Alright. Let's see. I might need a little bit more definition here. Maybe a little bit more coming behind there. Okay, so let's put one shooting star on this side. See, this needs a little bit darker down in here. It needs some darker, I mean, even though it's got a lot of white on here, it still needs a little bit more. And I might have to put it in with paint. I don't know if I can do it with pencil. But it needs a little bit more depth down in the here, in my estimation. It's just a little light. Need to work on that. <laughs> need to work on that a little. Maybe I'll fog it up a little. Let's see. Because it's just not quite what I want down here. There we go. That's better. Just a little bit more mist or something going on. And then right in here as well. Even though I do have my water in there. I can probably put a little bit more water, a little bit more water action. Get a dryer brush. Oh, not that one. Where's, oh, here it is. Okay, let's see. Shh, 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 shh. Shh, shh, shh. Maybe I'll carry the water down here. Yeah, I'll like that better.
That looks pretty good. I don't want to get it. I mean, I kind of want it like a waterfall effect, but it's going to get too much if I'm not careful. Which it might already be. <laughs> Bye, Ronja. And hi, by the way. Sorry I missed you. Thanks for being here. We're about wrapping this up. This almost needs to come right over the top of that. Watch hand right there. Right here. Okay. Thanks everybody for stopping in and arting with me today. I'm looking. Okay, I think i got to do one more planet right here. I'll just do another blue and orange one. Um, do you, this needs to be a poster for your wall. <laughs> Lindsay. All right. I think I better quit. Better quit while I'm happy with it. What do y'all think? I don't, I'm not this. I'm not loving this. This is too white. It's too white. I need to probably go back in there with some black and like pick out some of the little gears and stuff again because I just got I went crazy with the water. So it's just like, I've just lost some of my detail in here that I liked. I mean, I wanted water on it, but I lost a lot down in here. The gears, and let's see if I can wipe that one back a little bit. I can kind of scrub it back a little because the matte medium is on there. It just needs a little bit more showing through. That's a little better. Okay, I like that a little better. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. I think I'm going to call that done. Call that done. I'll sign it over here on this side. Yeah. 
And my Posca is a little much. I could probably sign it almost in the water. That's too obvious. Let's see. I don't have any room any over there. Let's just put it right here. I like the signature to be subtle. So I'll put it in the clouds. <laughs> There we go. Almost could use just a few more little to balance it out from the other side. Because it's so white on the other side, this just balance it out just a touch by adding a little bit of splash right there. A little extra splash. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to head out and uh, hope you all have a good day. Anybody want to put links in? Now's the time to do it because I will, um, I turn off links when I leave, guys, for the protection of the channel. I mean, the mods can usually do it, but if they forget, you know, and so, yeah. I don't want the, ch uh, I don't want them left on. So, okay, guys, I'll post a picture of it. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Society sex. <laughs> now, I don't put, uh, I don't put, uh, like, this is other people's photographs. When I do my, like, my animal portraits that I want to put on Society 6, there's very little, if any, no, you know, I cut collage bits up. I'm not taking an altered book page and putting, you know, making it mine. Uh, I wouldn't sell this. Um, my, but my animal posters, like, here, let me show you. Let's go back to Mike, Mike, Mike. <laughs> See, there's, there's a little bit of collage stuff in it, but it's so subtle and it's not any, you know, it's mostly paint. It's my, it's my own painting, you know. So, yeah. There's Mike. Okay, guys, heading out. Thanks for being here. Um, I don't know when I'll do another video. I can't ever tell you if I'm going to be here on a Friday. Um, so, but I'll see you all later. Yeah, that's all right, Terry. <laughs> I, I know, Terry. It's a matter of time. It is. Thanks, though. All right.